This video isn't sponsored by Squarespace, but we're gonna put it to the test anyway. So I've just seen countless influencers hyping up their Squarespace sites, and honestly, I started wondering, is it really that good? So to find out, I'm gonna dive into this Squarespace review, and I'm gonna show what it actually offers, what it lacks, and break down the available plans. So let's help you answer the question, is Squarespace good? Now, what I like from the jump is that there's a sign up with a free trial. So no credit card required, just your email. And I'm gonna cover pricing and plans later in the video, but if you wanna grab it at the best price already, check out the description. A discount with the lowest price possible is waiting for you. All right, once you sign up, Squarespace wastes no time. It drops you straight into template selection for your new site. It also offers an AI-powered setup tool, but don't expect mind-blowing innovation here. Instead of generating truly unique designs, it serves up a handful of pre-built section options based on your initial answers. It's fast and functional, but let's be honest, it feels more like a guided onboarding than real AI. Okay, now while the result is a clean professional looking website, it might also look a lot like everyone else's website. So Squarespace leans hard into its signature sleek uniform aesthetic. And while that polished vibe works for many, if you're someone who craves creative freedom and deep customization, you might find it a bit on the cookie cutter side. AI is definitely not the strong side of Squarespace, but their templates are. So I would highly recommend sticking with the templates. They're some of the best in the market. And no, this isn't just a personal opinion. Squarespace has won numerous web design awards. The templates are modern, stylish, and minimalistic, offering any project a polished and elegant feel. At this moment, there are 187 templates in total. Now, and seeing how much they differ from one another, I gotta say it's a good number. It has plenty to choose from in each category as well. Well, except for travel, which only has three for some reason. Anyhow, there are plenty of topics. I mean, food and restaurants are two separate selections, so I'm sure you can find a template that suits your vision. And I gotta admit, Squarespace websites do really look good. It's hard to find one that looks bad. After playing around with the editor for a while, I can see why that is. The platform is intuitive with a clean interface that focuses on the essentials. But it can feel almost too minimal at times, which might sound odd. I mean, while editing, the interface stays so visually cohesive that you might forget you're in editing mode. But hey, that's also a plus. I mean, it's easier to visualize what the end result will be like. You don't have to go back and forth between editing and preview mode, as there's no real preview mode. You're kind of in a preview mode all the time. Now, compared to other builders, Squarespace's element library goes beyond the basics. You're gonna find standard options like images, forms, and charts, but also SoundCloud embeds, deep social media integrations, and donation tools. Whether you're just a blogger or a multi-chain burger join, there's a lot of flexibility. With all the shapes, animations, and styling options, this is probably my favorite element set. It, it strikes the perfect balance between simplicity and creative control. So if you want a straightforward way to build a site without weeks of learning, Squarespace is an excellent choice. It's user-friendly, powerful, and ideal for creatives and small businesses. But let's get a little bit more technical in this Squarespace review and see what functionality there is. I'm talking about adding things like checkouts or contact forms. For that, you don't need any third-party plugins, apps, or anything like that. That said, Squarespace extension selection is kind of limited, but its integrations cover everything from marketing to e-commerce. It's a great all-in-one solution for users who want to avoid juggling third-party add-ons. Now, while it might not be the best fit for complex or large-scale projects, it offers everything a beginner or small business needs. I also do like how Squarespace supports your business growth. It doesn't treat marketing like an afterthought. While many beginner-friendly platforms assume that you're already a marketing pro, Squarespace makes the whole process refreshingly approachable. Its built-in email campaigns let you create and track gorgeous emails right from your dashboard. Yeah, no extra tools or integrations needed. The SEO tools come with straightforward checklists, so even if you've never touched SEO before, you're still gonna be able to handle the basics with confidence. Social media integration is also not gonna be a problem either. You can easily connect your Instagram, Facebook, and X to showcase live feeds or auto post updates directly from your Squarespace site. Yeah, it sounds simple, but trust me, not all builders make this easy. 
You also get powerful built-in analytics and tools to run and monitor Google ads, all without leaving the platform. Again, not a lot of builders have this. For a site builder, that's sleek and stylish. Squarespace packs in some serious marketing muscle under the hood. Now, is that muscle gonna cost you a ton of money? Well, not exactly, especially if you use my discount by scanning this QR code or from the description. So next, let's take a look at real Squarespace pricing, what you're gonna have to pay if you stick around. For many users, cost is a deciding factor and Squarespace holds its own pretty well. So Squarespace's plans start at $16 a month for a personal site. If you need business or e-commerce features, that's gonna be a bit more than that. These rates are fairly standard in the industry, although multi-site hosts like Hostinger can offer more bang for your buck depending on your needs. Where Squarespace really shines is in its polished, all-in-one experience. You're paying for streamlined design, ease of use, and a hassle-free setup ideal for creatives and small business owners or just anyone who just wants things to work. I'd suggest starting with the personal plan unless you're building a store as you can always upgrade later. And unlike many providers, Squarespace doesn't lure you in with a cheap intro price only to hike it up later. What you pay up front is what you'll continue to pay. No tiny letters and numbers hidden somewhere with renewal rates, which is so refreshing. Okay, so I hope that gets pricing and Squarespace plans explained. So is Squarespace worth it? Now, while it might not win on raw starting pricing alone, its balanced feature set, transparent billing, and refined user experience make it a strong, fairly priced option for serious creatives. Especially if you love good looking, unique sites, Squarespace definitely delivers on that. So if you wanna start building your piece of art in the form of a website, make sure you use the link in the description for the lowest price. That would be all in this Squarespace website review video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.